Science. European researchers have created a robotic hand that gave an amputee a sense of touch he hadn't felt in a decade. With the artificial limb, the patient could feel the different objects, such as a bottle, some cotton or a fruit, and was able to intuitively adjust his grasp. Dennis Sørensen lost his left hand in a firework accident. That was truly amazing to suddenly feel something after nine years, uh, because uh, suddenly my, my, my hand is talking to the brain again, if you wish, and, and, and that, uh, yeah, that was incredible. Doctors at Rome's Gemelli Hospital implanted tiny electrodes inside two nerves in the stump of Sørensen's arm. When the nerves were stimulated with a weak electrical signal, he said it felt like his missing fingers were moving, which meant the nerves still worked. The team put sensors on two fingers of a robotic hand to detect information about what the artificial fingers touched. This information was sent to his brain. The electrodes are really selective in the sense they are able to achieve a, a very precise contact with small fascicles in the nerve. This is crucial to have close to natural sensation. This latest experiment is among the most advanced in the prosthetics field, essentially creating a loop that let the robotic hand rapidly communicate with Sørensen's brain. But what kind of surgery does it require? The surgeon had first create a surgical theater where the two nerves were clearly uh, 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 put in evidence. Then he had to open the sheet around the nerves uh, identify individual fascicles, and then he had to insert properly the electrodes. Though it will take years of additional research before an artificial hand that feels becomes a reality, this new research is part of a major effort to create more lifelike and easy-to-use prosthetics.